Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a day in the life vlog just for one day. My partner's at the office so I don't annoy them while they're at work <laughs> and they can't annoy me while I'm trying to talk to you guys um, or do work. So hopefully it'll be a productive day. Um, it is Tuesday the 12th of March. The sun is a little bit out, the light is a lot more. Um, we're finally getting into spring. I just opened the door and um, let Heidi out for a minute because she likes a little morning romp on the balcony. And um, and I can hear the seagulls because we live right next to a, um, we live right next to the water on like a port, not a beach, but a port. Um, and you don't hear the seagulls at all winter, all winter long. It's pretty quiet out there. We don't really see a lot of birds at all. Just a few jackdaws. Um, you know, what, moving to another side of the planet, I got a little bit more interested in birds because <laughs> I didn't know what jackdaws were, but, um, seagulls, of course, I knew what they were, but, <laughs> um, yeah, so I opened the door and I heard seagulls for the first time in months. So spring is finally here, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. I literally just woke up. It's literally first thing in the morning. Let me check. I didn't remember what time it is. It's 8.45, so I actually woke up at 8, was on my phone for a little bit, just checking up on Instagram and emails on my phone, I know it's bad, but that's what I do. I got dressed, well, I put a jumper and pants on. Um, did the usual morning things, you know, bathroom stuff. Um, I had to refill the humidifier because it was out of water, so I filled that. Still going with the humidifier because it's not quite, not winter dry anymore. Um, we'll probably be running it until April, I think. And then um, I put a wax melt on and I made breakfast and made a coffee. And this is Nutri-Grain cereal from Australia. This was like my favorite cereal back then. They don't have it elsewhere, I don't think. I think Nutri-Grain is just an Australian, or probably New Zealand. Um, cereal. Let me know otherwise, because um, other things from Australia are everywhere else. Like Milo, it's all in um, in South Asia and Southeast Asia. <laughs> and arguably, South Asians drink Milo better than us. But um, how do you playing with something? I mean, I gotta finish this breakfast. Um, because I can have my meds before. I try to have it before 9. I can have it after, like, up until 10 a.m. Um, but I try to, yeah. I'm still trying to get up, like, before 9 a.m. So I can have breakfast and meds. So, it's been good. I feel like that's the other part of all of that. Of, like, learning and medicating and stuff. Is that now I actually wake up at appropriate times. Maybe 8 a.m. isn't appropriate to a lot of people. But it is for me, as someone who always was waking up at 10, 11, 12. 8 a.m. is a big, big difference for me. I, I possibly could wake up at 7, but I find that every single time I've woken up at 7, I'm exhausted by lunch. It's just too much of a day for me. So 8 o'clock is a good compromise. Hi, do you? Hi, do you? Do you want a brush? Because every morning I'm going to give Heidi the brushes. She's being a bit weird this morning because Hi Luck is not here. But usually she goes nuts for brushing. I just do it here in the couch. Do you want some brushes? Almost finished breakfast. I love your brushes. Oh, now they can't see you. <laughs> there you go. Now you're the star of your own vlog. What? Hey you, it's Heidi here. I'm just getting my morning brush as I demand. Brush harder, human. My head. Thank you. And we're just going to be following my day. I'm just going to be getting brushed, meowing for biscuits, eating biscuits. What else do I do in my day? Um, I'll probably have a nap. I might rip up a box. That kind of thing. Brush my head, human. Sorry. <laughs> this is what I live with. 
Yes, I do this every morning, give Heidi a good brush, but um, she needs it. She loves it, and she, but she also needs it. Especially with spring coming around, she's gonna be, she's bolting already. Look, look how disgusting the brush is. <laughs> I do rip that out every couple of days. But. Gonna give her a good brush. I think mostly she just wants head brushes. But anyway. So we should probably think about what we need to do today. Probably gonna do some high uh, concentration work, considering that Luck is at the office, so they won't be like sneaking in on me every every 30 minutes or a couple of hours after meetings and scaring me. Like legit, I get scared if someone walks in on me drawing because I'm just so enwrapped in it. I think Heidi's gonna be like this for a while. Okay, Heidi, I gotta finish my breakfast, okay? And I'll brush you some more afterwards. She's like, no, no, no. No, it's no longer the Heidi channel. Sorry, Heidi. Okay, I'm gonna finish my breakfast here and get myself sorted because we need, we need, we need our stuff to go on with our day. So I'm gonna finish eating and I'll be right back. I just wanted to note, because we're going full day in the life here, but here is my little pill thingy. And look how cute it is. I love how, um, I got this off Amazon. Uh, if you want this, um, I could try and link it below. <laughs> I don't know how to link Amazon things, but I just looked for like the pill things and, um, well, I'll look up what it's called so you can like search the title if you're interested. But like, this is just a Sunday through Saturday. The American Sunday start is so weird to me, but um, the cool thing is it's rainbow and see-through and also you can choose the color of the plastic underneath and of course I got purple. And then obviously it's for like easy. You just like press this a little bit and it pops up. Awesome. <coughs> I'm so old now, I'm influencing pill organization, but, um, <laughs> but obviously I just have my like ADHD stuff and then I just have vitamin D and I have two omega-3 pills because the dosage of the ones that we have, you need two of, but um, it's important to get uh, up here to get your vitamin D in. Well, I've never felt too badly, obviously it's just important to have it, but I feel like growing up in Australia you get like ultra doses of vitamin D because you live so much in the sun um, and there is so much sun. But uh, if anything, that should make me more, more worried about skin stuff, but that will be okay. Just want to show you my hilarious, my awesome pill organization because I just love it. It's purple and rainbow. It's so cute. All right, full disclosure, I decided not to have my Omega-3 ones because... <sighs> so, uh... I am really, really bad at, um, what is this? Sorry, I'm trying to fix up my stand here. But, um, Heidi wants more brushes. All right, now I'm just gonna brush Heidi while I do this. Full disclosure, I didn't have my omega-3 pills because um, I really, really struggle with taking pills. I'm like a dog, I need, no. <laughs> I honestly can't, I, even like putting in honey and stuff as my, my parents as a kid never really worked. I'm just terrible at taking pills. The gag reflex is strong. And um, yeah, if they're too big, it's just, and sometimes I just give up because um, yeah. Today I wasn't feeling like gagging each pill down. So I, could, I took the important one and my vitamin D is like a chewable powdery one. So I had the vitamin D at least, but we'll have omega-3 tomorrow. So let's get into the day. I usually start off with the planner out. Um, I, I'm, bare, I'm bare bones today because, you know, locks in the office. I do want to mark off meds and vitamins. So I just use my zig color dot marker and I just mark those in. I just like, how like I can definitely see when things are done. It's payday today. Well, the money came in to my account for my shop. 
um, yesterday actually. So I've already gone and done my savings, so that's fine. Um, Heidi wants my pen so badly. And I do have to do an Instagram post for the next Scotland sneak. So that's why I got Scott 2 there. <laughs> uh, because I have all my images made, you know. Um, so, because Locke is not here, as I said, I can concentrate a bit more on something more. Um, something that needs more attention. And I'm actually at the very end of a shop set right now. Um, doing a swimming set for um, uh, summer. Which is quite funny because Coffee Doodles just this re week also released a water park set. I was like, oh, that's funny because I'm drawing an, a pool set right now. But, um, well, this is a water park, but mine's like uh, going to the community pool or an aquatic center, um, that kind of vibe instead. So they're very different, but if you love swimming, there's some options this year. But I thought that was funny because I was drawing that already this week, and then um, I saw people sharing his, her like posts about that. I'm like, that's funny. Um, she has some really cute color waves and swimsuits in that set. Um, but yeah. So that's what I, all I have to do to finish that off is color, well, I've colored in the block colors of the elements, but I need to shade them all, like use the shading and stuff. Um, so the elements are all that's left to do in the pool set. <clears throat> that's very like, that doesn't get, if a lot comes out of their office to me, that usually doesn't scare me when I'm doing that kind of work. So we're actually going to hop ahead and get started on the next shop set. We are going to leave pool for pool elements for tomorrow. And get full steam ahead. So the next set we're doing. So my swimming pool set actually finishes off April releases. So tomorrow we'll have April all finished, which will be great. And then um, we guess we got to get started on May, but I'm only doing two releases in May because um, we'll have done a couple of months of three releases in the month. And it's like, that's a lot. I know a lot of the shops will be, um, well, it's good to have new stuff out, but also there's a lot of stuff to pay for. So maybe we're going to take a little breather. I think actually, funnily enough, last May, I literally sold nothing. I released nothing. May was a really bad, May and June were really, really bad months for me last year. <laughs> Um, but now we're like, you know, it's March and I'm about to get started on May on. It's crazy. But I'm only going to do two releases in May just to like, um, soften everything a little bit. Originally I was going to do three and one of the ones was a cinema set, but then the, um, SPC Mystery came out and then also Clip Art Kits released a cinema set. So I was like, ah, I'll just give up on that. I didn't have a huge, like, um theme plan ready so we just ditched that and we're like let's just have a week off <laughs> in may so i'm releasing another um another summer set this is kind of be gonna kind of be like blossoming in that my plan is just summer vibes um i've decided i'm gonna name it sunshine but i think what i want to do is because i just drew uh, community pool set and you know pools and beaches are like the main summer art fair but I want to do a summer vibe set that was more like like a normal summer day so what I'm trying to aim for here is like it's at home maybe indoors maybe the backyard just chilling summer some summer fruits treats um, maybe just some like nice you know at home clothes so yeah summer at home where you, maybe it feels like yeah so it's more grassy and homey but it's like warm feeling so that was my idea to try and get away from all of the water sets um because yeah most summers i pretty much just release pool or beach stuff and there is a beach scene in my pride art and obviously i just did pool so we're doing a summer vibes at home, summer, chilling, reading. Um, it'll be great. So that's what we plan to do. And then the second set of May is a travel set. 
So that would get that would be too bad. Look. You know how I said I'm gonna make them easy for myself. So I have like half the elements already done for the travel set, a set of travel things. That's great, except um for both Scotland and the next travel set that I've already finished, I did a lot of very intricate scenes. <laughs> Just to make it hard on myself, you know, but they look amazing, I feel like. Just you wait until you see the other one. Like, Scotland's great, but then the next one. But it also took me like two whole days to do those scenes alone, and I was supposed to be making travel sets easier for myself. And I guess having a bunch of um, elements already done does make it a little bit easier, but... There's still a lot of effort put into scenes and people, so yeah, <laughs> it's not actually as quick and easy as I was trying to tell myself because I, you know, I still have to do the hardest parts on each set, which is scenes and people, but they look amazing. Um, you know, if I can keep up this level of quality, that would be awesome. I feel like that's my goal for this series, is that each and every one will be just freaking awesome. But, um, so this <clears throat> travel set is also very, um, uh, summery, so that works in May as well. That's what I got to do, so today I'm thinking I will do the line art for the scenes and do the scenes and also the line art for hopefully all the people for the summer vibe set, Sunshine. Because that is like the most uh, intensive to do, and then coloring is is pretty much okay. I'm just I guess so like zoomed in on the line art that I just can't do anything else, which is honestly why I don't really f I don't film it because I'm just like I'm lost in the as Audrey would say I think she's lost in the, lost in the sauce. Or uh, as I've been thinking, reading June and watching June part two, lost in the spice now. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it takes a lot more concentration. It's so much harder to draw, like film and draw for me personally. Um, and I think that's okay. There's some things you don't want in your artistic process to share. And I think that's valid. So apologies for that, but I will show you some stuff. Um, I filmed actually a bit of pool work. So I'm going to insert these clips and I have to do a voiceover for them, I think, because I want to talk about them. So in a minute, I will do that, but I'm going to put down on my to-do list to do, um, I'm just going to, write, I'm just going to describe this set as summer, so I know what I'm drawing. Summer scenes line and summer people line. And I'm going to try and stick to line because... Okay, I try and plan out, just going to do the line art for the scenes and then because a lot of scenes the line art is not complete because a lot of the times there are elements that I just don't line art in. I use like nature brushes and stuff because I think I don't know, it makes it work a little bit easier but also I feel like it looks a bit nicer. So then I end up just doing the whole scene in one go because <laughs> um, I was like, well, I want to try and get like my my vision out there. And I can't do that with just line on for a lot of the scenes. I think this set is different. Yeah. Because what we're drawing is like a backyard and stuff. And then like a scene of someone reading on the couch with like the windows open. I don't know. Stuff like that. Anyway, so we're going to do that line on today. Because it'll take a lot of energy. And then I also have to film a plan with me that's going up tomorrow because it is Tuesday and I haven't filmed my Wednesday plan with me yet. Um, I did film the base though of this week, so that's looking good. Yeah, all right. We're gonna get into it. Um, first things first, we got to post this Instagram post for Scotland. Let's get out the old laptop. Oh yeah, I replaced some of the stickers on my laptop. Just down the bottom here. I got this little wizard frog, little Arthur, and also Yasna from Stormer Archive to it with Kaladin. It's looking pretty good. 
I do love stickering up a laptop. Um, it's just a good way to use them vinyls, I think. Because I have a laptop for so long. Um, yeah. So, let's get into posting this Instagram post. I'm going to go to an old one and just copy-paste my hashtags because, I don't know, I honestly don't care or know. <laughs> I, I actually don't know if I'm actually bothering to grow the business because I feel like it's such a niche product that most of the people who want to see it have seen it. But so this is the push that we're going to be doing. The flat lay. Oh my God, I love the way this one came out. It looks very like a lot. <laughs> um, but I think it was cute. So this is, this showcases a bunch of the travel items, like the pot, the, um, the passport cave, cave case, the camera with pictures, the sleeping mask, the hotel key, and this bag um, here with the shoes in it is also part of the travel set. So you'll see that in other ones as well. Um, but I think what came with the kit specifically is this tartan ribbon and also um, the books. So we have Robert Burns' poems and a really cute Greyfriars Bobby. Hadn't heard of Greyfriars Bobby, but I did look it up. I thought it was a really cute looking book. And of course, Iron Brew. For my Scots out there, I know you love your iron brew. Luck loves iron brew, but uh, uh, so let's have a look. See, okay. Um, uh, what, uh, what's my what's my thing gonna be about? Um, the I'm gonna talk about how the travel series has a set of elements that will be shared amongst all of them. The travel series features a set of elements that will The travel series features a number of elements that will be included in every set, um, such as the passport cover, camera, and hotel key, sleeping mask, and hotel key. Um, um, this makes the set a a little easier to to draw and adds and um, I don't know. the travel series features a number of elements that will be included in every set such as the passport cover camera sleeping mask and hotel key um We'll do a plain emoji. Plain. <laughs> um, of course, for each set, they will be recolored and edited to match. Exclamation mark. All right, then we'll post that. We'll share it. All right, we're just gonna. Yeah, I just refreshed my page on Instagram, make sure that that came up, and now. Wait, you've got the phone. Now I'm gonna get my phone and I gotta share it onto my stories. So I feel like that's the best way to get my followers to find pictures coming up. Cause I, you know, the most that I use in Instagram now is stories. So I make sure things are in stories as well as posts because I find that so much easier to keep track of what I need to see on there. That is posted, so I'm gonna mark that off. But I need to use you to do it. The sun is coming out. You see? <gasps> Lovely. We love a spring sun. But um, I'm going to continue having some coffee, get this picture done on my Insta stories. Um, probably I'm in the middle of a video here. I'm halfway through Kirsten's Like a Rose Plan With Me. So I want to finish watching that because it's going to be an hour until stuff hits 
my brains. So <laughs> we're gonna chill for an hour. I got Heidi still here. She's chilling. Um, she likes to hang out with me on the couch in the mornings before she goes and does her stuff. But yeah, so I'll be back in a, little, in a second. Uh, my, I might actually put the um, pool artwork clips here. So I'll talk to you in a second about that stuff. All right, and here's a voice over me. But this is some stuff that I was doing the other day. Um, I was coloring in and working out my like pool people. So I'm just showing you here how I layered some patterns of these flowers to make this sort of the pattern on this bag. I didn't want to have any of the color through the little center pieces of the flowers. So I just went through every layer and filled that in white because I feel like that makes the pattern a bit cleaner. Uh, but yeah, this is sort of me doing like finishing touches on the like um, the base colors. But a big thing that I wanted to do for this pull set was to add like sort of the being out in the sun, not not entirely like sunburn, but just elements of like the heat in the sun on the skin, which I know there's not as much on darker skin tones, but I think it adds like a little extra to the whole. Um, illustration just to make it a bit hotter. I am like using the smudge brush here just to make it a bit more blurred but not like having to use the Gaussian blur all over and lose parts of it on the top but yeah so I actually did that for pretty much every person except for the kids because you know they got to do the sunscreens uh, but then did the it was just the finishing touches of doing some of the hair strands and highlights and also the lighter parts of the hand on the darker skin. So we're doing another person here and I'm just showing you from like the beginning of me sort of filling in the colors. I just set the line art to reference mode and then you can make separate layers underneath and you can fill it in with the bucket without messing up your line art. And it makes it so much quicker. Of course, there's always going to be bits and pieces that don't, um, as you can see here, those white bits, they don't completely fill in with the fill bucket. So I just make sure to go in and fill in all the little bits and pieces. But this is so much faster than hand coloring the entire section. Um, as I was like zooming in and out, and I'm going to be coloring, filling in the colors of this face. And I realized after looking at the face that I don't love the way this face came out. So we're going to be redrawing it here. Um, I thought the eye was a bit weird. Like that's how it was in the reference, but sometimes photos don't really come across the same as they do in 2D art. So you do have to change things. So I also decided to change the nose up and got rid of that bridge. And I just felt like that looked a bit better to my eyes. I feel like Overall, in the end, this this person's done, but I wish I had made their eyes bigger. But I think the face turned out a little bit better this time. <laughs> As you can see here, I've put in some of the sunburn, and we're also going to add some stretch marks because um, our skinny, our skinny besties, I love you girls. Um, my God, do you pull off some amazing outfits? I'm jealous, but um skinny girls also get stretch marks like it's just the nature of things these are very like in your face stretch marks so I actually make them pretty low it was a bit hard to decide like do I want them to be super obvious when printed or just a little bit um I decided to end up just a little bit but I did some overall um stretch marks there and of course you can see me working with the uh, we'll just call it sunburn <laughs> Now I realized um, that putting my bowl in for my cereals that I have to unload the dishwasher and I want to put, perhaps put the dishwasher on. So I'm going to unload this baby because it's good to keep up with our chores. <laughs> um, obviously it's a weird filming thing, but yeah, we're doing a day in the life, so I'm trying to show you everything.
the spoon rose. It makes me laugh every time. Spoon me. a little bit more clean and we can continue on with our morning stuff. I try to get Heidi like drinking water out of that glass because that's how she likes to drink water but of course she stopped as soon as I started filming it but look at it now. What is that what is that face Heidi? <laughs> um she got fast she found the sun, so good for her. Anyway, I'm doing some like pre-work right now because I want to have a curvy person in the Somerset, I'm still working on finding references and I'm just looking through Pinterest. Um, like an outfit I might like or a pose. I'm not necessarily gonna draw exactly this. I do love Peter Alexander. That's something I miss from Australia. Um, Peter Alexander is like high brand expensive pajamas. Like they're supposed to be like fashion pajamas. But they're so good. I, I still have a bunch of Peter Alexander stuff. And it, like they have all these really cute collab things. I used to have one that had Vegemite and pancakes on it. Like like jars of Vegemite and then pancakes. And it was like my favorite pajama pants. But yeah, <clears throat> I do love Peter Alexander. I just noticed that they have taken the model from, oh, what do you, do you recognize this model guys? This one. Um, from a specific shop. She used to be a part of a specific shop that did both straight sizes and plus sizes and she and the straight size model would always be in it but I definitely recognize this model which is funny. <laughs> um, I don't know if I want to draw out and out pajamas though. <sighs> but these are cute. Um, 
One thing about Pinterest is you search for plus size, you get some, and then as you go further and further down, it just becomes straight sizes, and you're like, great, thanks. Um, but I don't know, I do like to work from a reference just to get it right. That's almost cute. Like, I kind of like the body on this one. So I'm going to save that, but um, I'm going to look away because I have secret boards that I don't always want everyone to look at. That's why they're secret. <laughs> we could do this. Maybe I could do a different face or I could just draw her because she is a cute model. She is a cute model. And I feel like it, it's better to draw from, in terms of drawing from reference, like, I do mix things up and, like, I do change things. As you would have seen in that pool um, reference I showed you, I, like, I changed her face a bit um, afterwards because I was like, you know, I'm not happy with it. So, but I feel like shop pictures and stock images are good to work from because, you know, they put themselves out there already. It doesn't always feel great to use references of normal people. Sometimes you can't help it though, because the outfit or look is real cute. But obviously then I try and draw the face how I want to draw the face. Um, yeah, this is like my biggest tip for artists is work from references. Because it, yeah, it takes a long, long time to do anatomy straight up. But I don't know. I'm also going to work in this specific area where um, I can't take hours and hours and hours and hours and hours drawing from scratch every single time. Um, but, you know, working off a of reference is just as good. That's what all the classics, the big, the big artists did. But I spent a lot of time just doing this. Like, um... <laughs> I'll say I'm not working, but technically I am, because this is work, right? See, it's a model again. She's real popular. I mean, she's beautiful. I can never have enough. Oh, this sel is a selkie dresses. Ugh, I just saw recently that their last collection includes AI prints, like AI made art. <laughs> AI generated images in the latest silky, silky art, and I'm like, well, I'm out. <laughs> but yeah, I was very disappointed to see that because they're a very, like, inclusive brand, for what it sounds like. And it's owned by, like, one artist, but I guess she decided to go the easy, cheap way. Oh, this is a really cute reference, actually. For something. I'm going to save to my poses. Um, oh, there's a whole bunch. Oh, and there's a girl with curly hair. Hmm. Oh, let's save her there, too. Because I also like the the uh, option of having... Like, maybe even this pose is really cute, but then also I could try drawing that hair. We will see. A lot of cute little summer dresses. This one's cute. Although, you know, as you saw, I'm, I'm trying to do like a summer at home, but I also feel like it can look cute at home. So I don't know about that plus size one anymore. Let's look up. Let's see this way. Oh, that's my. I wrote curvy summer pajamas. Oh, look at this. Most of this is not curvy. Um, summer outfit. But also, I like, the thing is, I don't want to put an outfit that has, like, a bag or something, because we're at home. I've used her before. <laughs> you'll see them around. I also find that you'll notice in clip art, um, there will be similar drawings, because we draw from the same things, and that's just the nature of Pinterest. But, oh, that's cute. Uh, I would have to draw this... I would draw the uh, hand from scratch, but that's okay. That's real cute. Would that work in the summer vibes? Let me actually open this. Maybe the hair is more festival. I don't know. Well, it's quite funny because, like, 
the the festival kits have come out a very <laughs> I will say um very American for me because uh music festivals in Australia did not have like the whole Ferris wheel Coachella western vibes country vibes that seems to happen in America from what I've seen of festival like it's very boho western cowboy hot cowboy boots and jackets and stuff fringes that's not really what music festivals were like for me growing up in Australia granted like the main one I went to was big day out I never went to like what was that one you guys don't know there's no, there's only a very handful of Australians or New Zealanders who watch this there's this one that uh is it called falls or it was in Melbourne where you had to go camping. It was like the like the the one in England where you also go camping. Is it Glastonbury? Anyway, oh that's real cute. That's a cute outfit. My answer is Charlotte Charlotte Chiasson if you want her fit details. Hmm, she cute. Oh, uh, let's put this in the reference poses because we could do this outfit. I also do this thing where I just like get. Yeah, if I, I'm love an outfit or a pose, then I will uh, do that, and then I'll swap the, <laughs> I swap the heads. I use a different reference for a face, usually from, um, stock or. Actually, a lot of stock images have like weird faces. <laughs> Rip to the stock models. I love y'all though. Stock is so useful. Sometimes I'll just take a picture of my own face. Oh, she's real cute. She's really cute. It's like a cottage core. Luke. That's really cute. LA apparel onto ba ballet core outfits. Where are these uh, the 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 confidence to wear these outfits out in a boot? <laughs> oh yeah. Um I took a picture of my new so many clothes. I think I put it in my I'm gonna put it in yeah, I'm gonna put that picture in my plan with me so you would have seen. I'm attempting to branch out. I've always been like the skinny jeans girly. As soon as I was allowed to have my first pair of jeans in year seven, you could you couldn't tear them out of my cold dead hands. But I'm trying to like branch out and have more comfortable, flowy, wide leg pants. So Oh, we're losing we're losing what we wanted here. I've had this one saved for a long time and she's so cute. Yeah, this is a lot of what I do, guys. Um, when I'm not actively working, working, like drawing, even on the weekends, I kind of try, I try and stop myself from doing this because uh, this is work. This is part of my work. Oh my gosh, she is so attractive. <laughs> um, the the bi jumped out. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually like properly said it out loud, but yes, I am bi. It was like a couple of years ago, I drew a pride set for Andrea, and I remember seeing a comment like for SPC, like, you know, I'd rather buy pride art from um, people in that community. And I was like, well, I, I me, I drew it. <laughs> You are actually, but the other thing is like, I didn't, I really understand that comment also because, oh, that looks awesome. All right, I'm just adding, this will be a weird cut because I accidentally opened up my thing and you could see some of my stuff. But anyway, um, my boards. Anyway, what was I saying literally just now? Oh yeah, that was the thing, but Andrea is always like, every time she's sold my pride art or any pride art she gives, like pretty much the entire amount of money she makes from it to a charity usually um what is that one charity oh my god i my brain is la farting this morning but yeah i always saw that funny comment was funny because it's like well hello i do understand they're wanting to do that though it has like stopped me from drawing specific things i used her anyway <laughs> You'll see y'all later. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm done with searching for Pinterest. Um, 
I'm not doing too well in the curvy outfits. Hello, Pinterest. She gone screwy. Um, but let's let me wrap it up. But yeah, it's kind of put me off because I'm like, yeah, it should just be done by the community that was in. But the thing is, if there's no one from that community doing that work, how do you get that across? So I feel like some of it, someone has just to do the research and do it. I feel like that was the thing with the Eid said. It always felt like, oh, maybe a Muslim artist or shop should be doing this from that argument. But then also, then it may never get made. <laughs> So then you just have to make that decision sometimes. But you have to make sure you you read up and you educate yourself and you support that group. Because it's not, yeah. Of course we're making money, but also I feel like there's something a, a different more, a, something more to that. It's like, well, you have to make money to live. I had to pay rent and buy food. <laughs> but, you know, at the same time, I want people to be out of have things that represent them i don't know why am i talking about this why am i talking about this i put enough doing work <laughs> by doing other types of work this is very very passive work though i don't know if my main page is giving away any themes here oh my god fran drescher she looked amazing in the nanny didn't she uh, I'm still not sure I 100% love any of the outfits for curvy plus size outfits, but we'll see how the. I will search through my references, see how we go. If you can't tell, I've already been planning some Halloween stuff. <laughs> um, in fact, I just drew a Halloween, but as a custom. Oh my god, she's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Um, I still can't believe I couldn't catch Heidi drinking her water because it's so cute. Because it's a clear glass, you can like watch her drink it and it's so cute. Alright, look at her. She's soaking up. She's charging her lasers in this beautiful sun. Oh my god, the windows are all so dirty. Ugh. Pay no attention to Locke's mess in their room, but... Oh. Okay. I think we're going to finish up here and start drawing in a second. It's 9.50, so I should get started with that. In a okay, we moved on to my Pinterest, uh, on to my iPad. I don't think you can see any future sets here. This is all my, like, so I have set boards, and then boards that Andre sends me. But I also have these reference boards that I've made, uh, where I collect specific references. So, you know, we've got beauty, we've got fashion, we've got hair and faces. This is especially useful for um, when I want to draw different people. <laughs> I want to draw outside of my usual face drawing. Profiles is different to poses. So poses is like full body. I might change it. Profiles are like closer up. I don't know. We just got general references here. We got scenes. We got pattern ideas. I don't go into this one a lot. We got food. Florals. I want to look into floral because I'm looking for a floral for my summer set. I've drawn so many tulips lately. I need a branch out. We could do these beautiful roses, I think. With some peonies. I want some, something similar here. It has like the vibes that I'm going for. Oh, I haven't even looked at a color palette yet. So we might have to do that in a second. I love how this is like the oranges in it. I wonder if we can do something, if there's something similar in here. If this is mostly just oranges. <laughs> um, I've also drawn a heck of a lot of lemons lately. So, no, I'm gonna go back. I'm trying to like look, look at this through my phone with you guys, but this is a lot of my work too. I know I have a lot of, yeah. But yeah, I'm still hunting for stuff for the summer set, but I do need to draw some things. Uh, I need to put the people still together. That's kind of pretty. This. Bah! What's happened? One second. There we go. Pinterest was mad at me. Anyway. I, th oh, uh, 
I think I'm gonna draw this because <laughs> this is really hard to download image. Download. Okay. Yes, I think this will be a nice reference for flowers. Something simple. Um, do I want to do any lying down flowers? I've just drawn so many tulips. Sometimes I wish I could get Pinterest to do a little bit more of what I want, as in, I press this, not because I'm looking for tulips, but I'm looking for <laughs> this. That's okay. That would never make sense to anyone but me. Let's open up the color palette, which is in a different part of my board, so I'm going to, like, again, move you away. So, I save color palettes because this has always been... And this might actually surprise some people because I always have, like, I love color, but I've never been good at color palettes for my art ever. Um, it was pretty much only when I started drawing on the Procreate and started trying to do clip art that I've ever bothered to do color stuff. Pretty much all my work prior to this has been at black and white. Um, yeah. Look. Doing this clip out has really stretched what I do as an artist, <laughs> like a big time, it changed how I do art, and really got me out there. This one's called Summer Soleil. We have a lot more colors in here, usually I like to stick to at least six, seven, eight, because uh, six is like... I, I do six glitter papers usually, so I try not to go too much over six. I can get a lot of stuff out of there, but obviously I do accent things like, say the six of those colors doesn't have a green in it, but obviously green happens in the natural world a lot. But anyway, so I find these kind of pa color palettes a challenge, but I think I'm actually gonna try this one out. There's just some colors in here I really like the look of and some vibes. So let's open up this color palette in Procreate. All right, gang, I've opened up a palette, like canvas in Procreate and put the palette here and we need to get some things out of it. So I want it to be soft, but uh, I was just looking at what I have so far for references and I have a lot of strawberry and watermelon. So I've already gone and picked out some of those possible colors from the palette. They're very, very bright though. Um, and also, this is really hard to do with one hand, <laughs> but we will make, we will try and do this. Um, let me try and see how I can do this. Maybe I can attach this to my, um, I hope this works for you guys. It's hard to tell on here, but anyway, so, um, but now I want to pull out some of these like lighter colors and there's this peach here. We've got a hair on my pencil. Ah! That drives me nuts. Okay, um, but I really love these shades up here. I'm gonna go away, cat hair. I'm just gonna pull out the shades that I really, really love. I, mm. Um, yeah, I hate the color picker and procreate. It always messes with me. I love this Robin's egg blue though. Um, is there anything else in there that look, looks, I'm trying to go for stuff though. We could put in purple. Um, or do we want like, hmm, okay. I think I'm going to go out of this. So I'm also having to think about my other summer sets, which are super duper bright. They're both almost basically rainbow. So what we want to do is get away from them. So I really love this Robin's Egg Blue. I've been feeling blue as we know this year is blue is my color right now. But we also want the watermelon strawberry color. I wonder if we could get away with doing the watermelon strawberry in that kind of um, coral red. It's a bit softer. We could put in this cream. Mm. Yeah, but we did this pink or we did this pink. 
we'll do this purple I think Or do we need the the warm pink? I think it has to be the warm pink. Now, in terms of green, I want to put in another layer over here. I'm going to put white over them. And I'm just going to soften these up. Of course, um, <laughs> of course, it doesn't always like this. So let's copy canvas, paste. Um, I don't, but there's some weird stuff about procreate. I want it a bit brighter. Does that look any good? I don't know. It's hard to do color palettes sometimes. I'm trying to see it in a different way. So, this is a lot of the greenery in this set. Gre greenery. Um, I can't write with that one. Greenery. This is a lot of the, um, in the scenes, this would be a lot of the, the room building. Like the core color, I think, will actually be the cream. This will be the fruit actually I think I like this color palette what do you guys think for summer I think so I don't know if I have any I just have my pool set so you can see in comparison the swimming pool set um, was quite the bright a baby you can see I haven't even set up usually I have my color palettes done but I have been busy. Let's have a look at how it looks in here. I like that. We still have some strong colors. Actually, hmm. Actually, I'm thinking about, do I want a stronger green? It's definitely too strong in the um, sorry about this guys it's definitely too strong in the actual color palette but maybe we want a little bit more of the green to be brighter like richer please watch um, hmm Maybe I'm changing my mind about this green. Um, let's actually have a look how the full color looks. Mm, I guess. But maybe then if we want a full green, we should go for one of these other greens. I feel like I want a warmer green than that. But, you know. I feel like that's too olivey dark. So I definitely want to go with this. Maybe this will look okay in the finished thing. So what I'm going to do here is, because really you want different levels of green. So we're going to do this as like our main green. I think that looks okay. It's going to be the six colors, so it's going to not going to be, I think you want to be more drawn to like the cream, purple, blue, pink. And then we have like out the stronger colors and out as outliers. Uh, but what about this? Bruh. You gotta stick with it, Jess. Okay. Um, <laughs> but what we can do is I think this green goes well with this one. So we can soften the brightest of the green. So add that as an extra green because usually I do do like multiple colors of green at full greenery. And we are going to be doing plants and things. Is there anything else we just want to touch of? No. But do I want my main colors to be these four? 
this is what I do for work. <laughs> do we want the yellow? Ooh. Some touches of yellow could be cute, but we also have a lot of yellow in my last two sets. Hmm. Hmm. Look at this teal also. Uh, I really want a softer look. Okay, I feel like I'm just going to do a second just stare. Staring at everything. Sometimes you just got to stare. What is the difference between these two pinks here? Actually, when you think about it. This is an odd choice in this palette. There is a difference. We got a peach and a pink. What do we choose? The peach. What if we did this pink? Is the pink better than the peach? But peach is the color of 2024. Oh my gosh, it's so hard. No, I think that peach goes better with this cream. I've been loving cream this year as well. A lot of cream. Um, I think we're there, but it's hard to be sure. And then you got this, this little baby up here. What? Oh, I got so with the... No, that's too apricot. That's too bad because I really love these colors up here. But look at this color. Um, actually. No, I shouldn't be up here. What, what's happening, guys? Ah! You do the green, but I want to do the yellow based. Great. Oh, actually, guys, look at this. <laughs> this is much brighter. What if we did the other? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay, I'm going to do another palette here. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Um, because I really like this, these mobs here. I feel like this is coming together. And then we do the darker green. Oh, guys. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Hmm. Don't, don't worry about that. Procreate has, is a bit of a mess, to be honest. I thought that was a weird error. And I thought it was actually messing up the uh, pat, like, when I was doing that, but it doesn't actually. You just have to reload it. Um. You guys... Oh, don't want the color of the warmer. The color works better with the rub. Mm. Maybe it's this purple that's making everything weird down here. Oh, you guys, I screwed myself over. What if we do like a proper pink instead of this purple on this one? Okay, now we got two different looking palettes here. I am a wreck right now.
But this one still works with this. Oh gosh, okay. Um, now I'm truly stuck. I think I'm gonna keep both of these palettes for now. I'm gonna put in my normals. So I always have like pure black, pure white, a lighter black that I shade with. I've got a uh, I'm currently using a very light gray, and then this is my gold shade. I'm going to keep both of these, because uh, when I cut, start to color in the seeds, I think it'll let me know what I want. Oh, I don't know. I do like the addition of this pink to the red and this pink. Feels... A little bit lighter, brighter maybe with the peach. I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna have to leave this here because I don't know. <laughs> All right, gang, it's been one hour and a half. So I think the last time I filmed was like 10 a.m. and now it's 11.38. I'm getting hungry for lunch, so I'm gonna have lunch now, but I wanted to finish up the lineup for the double box scene for the summer set. I think you can see here what I mean by I kind of just like to continue because it's always like half finished with line on. So we're going to have like grass here, we're going to have plants behind here, so most of this fence behind here won't be seen. This will all be plants, this will be made into a little tree, these planters here will have plants. I'll probably put a little something here in that pot, although I did draw this like stupid little plant there. <laughs> Um, and then the background, we're going to have like some trees in the background and probably like a, maybe a sunset just to see like it's going to be a warm summer night and the doors and the windows are open, got a barbecue. So this is my idea of what this summer set's going to be about. Um, this is kind of the basis, but yeah, so you can see, yeah, I have to leave this now to continue on with other line art, but you can see how I... It's not entirely finished. There's still a lot more to do, but I think the concept will stay in my head. Um, but yeah, I thought it was fun with like everything open and spilling out, and it's gonna be really pretty. We got the fairy lights up here, so yeah. But that is the double box scene line art done. Took a bit, but I am hungry now, so I'm gonna make some lunch. Now, don't judge my lunch. It is a bacon pasta well the swedish lets you know exactly what it is <laughs> that's the swedish that's the finish and it's it's not the best lunch but it's so tasty it only takes three minutes and it's one of those like um i really struggled to eat other than like i can cook dinners but i find it really hard to make lunches so either i make something ahead of time or i use one of these because these are very easy but yeah I'm going to make some bacon pasta for lunch so I can eat, and it's tasty. Yeah, super quick. Thanks for that, Heidi. I was going to go for Misty as a brave, independent freestyle. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at you. So, all right. Look, our bookshelves are kind of a mess. We have a lot of those stormlight things I still have to unpack and arrange, but yeah. Oh uh, well, and look, we have two Junes. We, f we saw a very beautiful hardcover June, so. And that toy basket is Heidi's, although obviously she doesn't care, do you Heidi? Oh, you can see all my mess. Hello. <laughs> Do you want to go up here? She's such a weirdo. What do you want? She's just weirded out because Locke's not here. <laughs> anyway, back to eating the, the lunch. All right, the second scene is done. Um, I did use the colors for the background just to like plot, you know, where I want to put outside stuff, but then I did all of the, um, 
the frame pictures in black and white so I can change them. They're in different layers so I can change the colors to suit the palette that I'm going to choose. But this is a very simple little bed scene. It's just a very chill summer. I want all the windows and doors to be open and things like that. But this one took about um, 40 minutes. It's just after 12.30 and I went back to work. Like actually, yeah, 11.40 or something like that, 11.50. So about 40 minutes to do the lineup for this. But obviously it's pretty simple with the bed. Um... These are very simple shapes that I had to do, but a lot of the time was spent on recreating these um, pictures to go on the top because I didn't want it to be too plain. Uh, but yeah, so that is the second scene done. This is a full box scene. Let's get on to the next one. I just want to get these scenes done so then we can hopefully get on to the people or we can hopefully film a plan with me after these scenes are done and then we can work on people before luck gets back but yeah now it's 12 33 let's get started on the next one all right now a kitchen is done this is gonna be like you know greenery and stuff out there as well gonna be super bright and pretty but there's a lot of food items in it so i thought i'd draw a kitchen and we got like the connection to the backyard so this made sense as an extra scene and um this took about another 30 to 40 minutes but this one's a bit more simple because it's pretty like straight lines <laughs> but we got a super little kitchen done here so i have one more scene that i'm gonna one more scene i'm planning to do and that'll be great it'll be awesome to be done hopefully before one so actually no, it'll be after one because it's just about 1 p.m now <laughs> but yeah let's go yeah. this one i did beat 1 p.m. It didn't take very long at all, but like how simple it is. Um, so I'm gonna be having like wood decking kind of thing here, and then this will be a nice rug. And this is like those things that tied to deck chairs, but that you can lie down on the floor in them and pillows. And I feel like people could also like zoom in on this and use this for elements as well. So I want to keep it a bit more plain. But our chance now is to use a shadow brush, not a light brush. A shadow brush and we could do some leaves some lovely leaves these are all um the only downside of these is that they're all uh like what am i saying <laughs> they're all square this is the only downside of these brushes so um, I don't want them to be this big. So I'm going to do this and then we're going to do some work here. I'm going to try and like, um, spread this out. I'm using the smudge brush. And we might also go in with thin airbrush as well, just to um, finish this up. But we're just trying to extend the squareness of this um, shadow brush. And then we want to extend it this way as well. We want to like break up. You can see so like the, the very edge of this square brush which we want to try and work on getting rid of but I'll just do like this okay and I think over here we want to go to uh, airbrushing soft brush just fill that in there Alright, cool. And then, you know, we'll do it like that. I think that looks alright. We'll do some in, going in here so that we can break up how we broke up those lines. And maybe we'll do a little softer 
to make them a bit more pointy. Because the palm leaves are more pointy than that. All right, that looks great. Do I just want to do it across the top? Yeah, I think so. Because if you want to put elements here, maybe down here, it wouldn't look so bad. But also you could put like a quote here and the shadow will be like, will couch the quote if you use this as a quote box. But this is a very simple extra box, like just to get feels. So we're going to have like a wood deck here and then we're going to have like a nice jute rug and then we'll have some patterned pillows. That is technically the last proper scene. Actually, I'm thinking I might want a something over here. There we go. Okay, I like that. All right. Um, except now I've got a thing. I've got a person scene. So I think I'm going to very quickly do that first because yeah, it's a person box, but it's in a scene, a full box scene. So like. Um, people who like if you're making a full box you can just pop that right in and you've got the person and everything done I want to get that ahead of time before I finish up doing the scenes technically um, but I will say I think I probably will take off doing the summer scenes lines so there, that's great but I'm going to do this next one with the person and then I'm going to film the plan with me because I will be nicely ahead all right that's the person scene done i did add the shadows in um i'm gonna play with them a bit more but this is how i wanted to do them from the reference that i worked up i want to make sure that i got the um shadows all right so i just did them ahead of time so i'm gonna play with these some more but this is sort of like a base shadow anyway so it's not going to be super in your face, um, but it's like the concept of the scene. But yeah, so that took me for not too long because it's pretty like, it was mostly just trying to get the angles right. <laughs> the perspective, I took the longest on this hand and I'm still not happy with it, but it'll do. I was working off the reference and the hand just doesn't even look right in like the photo. <laughs> Which is so weird, but yeah. I know sometimes hands just look funky. Anyway, I did what I could and changed up the hand quite a bit, but that's what we got right now. It is 136. So I think I'm going to do this plan with me. Um, so that's done and over with, just in case luck ends up leaving work at like three or something. They'll give me some time. So I'm going to do the plan with me and then I'm going to come back and do the rest of the people line art as much as I can um, for today. But yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. It's a pretty cool box. This is sort of the thing I was going for. <laughs> Just reading in the summer, but spending indoors basically. <laughs> How I spend summer. I don't go swimming, so. Okay, I'm going to go set up my plan with me. Horrible. I don't know what the hell my hair's been up to, but apologies. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, you see what mess behind me? I still gonna do some, um, I got to recycle those cans. <laughs> They've been there for a while now because we haven't drunk any soda this week, actually. But yeah, got my stuff out. This is how I do my plans so I keep up on them. And don't forget them when I need to film. Heidi's just joining us down on the floor here. She was just meatballed in bed, but she has decided to switch. All right. You see, I started on this um, base as well. So pretty, Fatty's birthday. But now I can put all the stuff for the that base into this pocket. All right. So I put my planner to the side, and we're going to film finishing up this spread. 
simple, simple. I'm going to put my plants up here. Probably get my camera out. I'm gonna probably, I think I'm just going to switch the battery. Because I did end up getting a second battery and um, like a remote charger for it. So now I don't have to worry about running out of a battery. Um, like I did after, when I wanted to film it after the whole thing and the battery was like dead because I've been using this like religiously. So now I'm going to put all this, the labels out on this side. Um, I don't think I need this anymore. That'll go into my Danger D stash. And then I've got this sticker album, which has all my pulled stickers. Um, okay, I need my pen. I need my tweezers. And I'm going to put the scissors out as well, just in case. All right, I think we're ready to film. I've got my lights on. So I'm going to zoom in and zoom in. Ugh, I've got all this stuff everywhere. It's really sometimes I just don't have any space on my desk all of a sudden. Okay. Now I'm going to do a manual focus. All right. Now I'm going to fill. There will. My hair's flying everywhere. I should probably have a shower tonight, but... Um, anyway, um, yeah, so I just filmed that plan with me, and then I filmed the Japanese stationery haul of what my mother-in-law... got. my hair looks terrible. What my mother-in-law got me in Japan. And uh, I think the most surprising thing was this set of brush pens. If you don't watch, if you don't watch a whole, but you know about Japanese stationery, if you know anything, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just, I'm going to Google anyway after this, but, um, these looked really fun. Um, I look at my, in case you didn't see that whole, that was like that, one of the blue pens, and this is the light pink. It came out so cool. Oh my God, now I pen nib things all over the place. Okay. These like little tiny blue balls that come on the you, it, there, there on the end of pens. I don't want Heidi eating these, so I'm gonna quickly clean up and put stuff away. Um, I've had this stuff on my desk for ages, so it'll be good to be able to clean it off. What's well, a dress video there, but um, I clean off my desk. I don't know what time it is. I haven't looked yet. Um, but the sun is shining again, looking lovely. Anyway, um, yeah, so I think I'm going to actually do some video editing now because I feel like doing it, I might start putting this vlog together before I get into doing some more drawing, but I've only got three people to draw for this set. I picked out what I wanted, um, after I picked out the colors, I just finished that. So then I'm probably going to do the work on the people until luck gets back. We'll see how long it takes. But I'll check back in with you in a minute. Heidi is in a box. She's going. She's got like a, two boxes and a tunnel down here and she moves from one to the other. But yeah, I'm going to put these videos into motion because the plan with me is going up tomorrow. So that should be edited and exported so I can um, load that onto YouTube today. And then I might start putting together this vlog and this haul. But yeah. So I'm going to do some video editing. And I will see you guys later. Alright gang. I am actually watching my vlog back as I draw. so Because it's good to be able to watch everything to be able to edit it. So I'm watching this. It's going to be very long. So I think I'm actually going to finish up here. But I'm going to show you some things and tell you some stuff. It is 4.21 and I've finished... The people. Uh, the only video I've edited so far is the vlog, so that's going to take me a bit longer. But here's one person. This is more of the curvy girl. I decided to do this more loose and cute outfit. I think it's so cute. 
Then we have this person, which got a, a couple of loose shirts here and a few drinks in the hands. So it's kind of like the theme here. <laughs> but I thought this pose in this outfit was so pretty and I love the relaxed hair bun. I still have to do her eyebrows, like I have to do my like, the lines, I like erase the lines to make them a bit more eyebrow-y, but I can do that anytime. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this one came out. And then finally, we have this relaxing girl. She's got the tumbler. This um, person will be, she's black, so um, I think the features have come across, but I think she looks really relaxed. And like, it's still in a summery way. It's cozy, but summery. So that is the people lines all done and the scenes lines all done. All right. So, um, yes, we started, I think, technically about 10 a.m. Obviously, we had lunch in there. We had, um, lunch was about 20 minutes, so, um, and then I did film for a bit, and I think that was about 30. Filming was about an hour long, but from 10 to 4, 30, basically, um, I just drew and I got the scene line art done and the people line art done for the next set. So it's pretty awesome. Tomorrow I am going to color in the elements and do the listings for the pool set. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to call it poolside. I can't think of a name. So poolside it is. Um, so that'll be done. But we've got a head start on the next set. So that means on Thursday, we can do the elements line art and all you have to do then is color everything in. That'd be great. So that should be done. Um, then I might do some work on the weekend then. Otherwise it'd be like Monday, Tuesday that that set will be finished, probably Tuesday. Um, but the scenes are actually pretty simple and I want them pretty light and airy. So if we could say Monday, we could possibly have this next set done the first set of May which would be awesome so then next week we can then spend the rest of the week on the second set of May and then May's done May is finished so that would be the 19th so then the, we could spend the last week of March so the probably the 20 the 26 um through the 29th we could do the cust a custom for this month so I still got one custom done which I think is pretty good. Um, yeah, that will be great. I'm happy about that. It'll be really good to have May done and then I can do a custom and we can start fresh in April. I am taking the first, sorry. I'm looking at this and like um, the cover's coming off. Anyway, the first week of April, I am taking off. Like I'm actually doing a proper holiday. Yeah, I'm taking, so Easter, obviously, well, I'll probably draw Good Friday, but Easter Monday through the 7th, I will be taking the actual week off because it is Locke's birthday on the 6th of April. So that'll be great. And then I was considering actually just going and doing a couple more customs. They'll actually like, um... So we've got some customs planned, and the, so if I spend the first two weeks of April after my week off doing customs, two customs, I will be caught up with our plans, and then Andrea's going to have to like think of some new ideas. <laughs> she wants some more, but that'll like, have me ahead on the customs, So and then we can get started at the end of the month onto June's releases. Yeah, the next travel set. Um, I am planning to hopefully release a back to school. I'm hoping to make it sort of, it's always hard with back to school. I feel like people want kid, high school, college. I'm gonna try and do middling. So anyone might like it. It won't be specifically little, uh, hmm. If hmm, I could draw some little kids and I could draw some older people. And then together, but I don't think this, the classroom idea, I don't know. I'm still thinking about back to school. I'm mostly an idea for it. I do want to make it a lot more summery because I feel like back to school is still very hot summer. So yeah, 
But so yeah, so that's everything we did today. So I'm just gonna finish off here because Luck is on the tram home and they will be here in about half an hour. They're gonna go to the shops beforehand because for dinner, we are making beef stroganoff. We've got beef strips, we've got mushrooms, but we wanna have it with mashed potato and we don't have any mashed potato or potato. So um, yeah, so we're gonna make beef stroganoff for dinner. That'll be tasty. And probably serve it with some broccolini as well. Probably some capsicum, bell pepper. I still like to use the Australian word, even though it's ridiculous. I think capsicum is the Latin name for bell peppers. I don't know why in Australia we decided to do that, but yeah. So, and here in Finland, they call them paprika because paprika is the other name. But um, anyway. There's no point going on further because this is still a studio vlog, but um, hopefully I've so shown you a bit more interesting stuff in this vlog. Maybe in a day in the life is like a better vlog format. I don't know. Um, let me know if you've watched this by putting um, sparkles and stars in your comment. That'd be cute. But yeah. Because then after dinner, we're just going to watch Bob's Burgers, probably The Expanse, looking at my hair. Uh, I'll probably read some Dune, and I'll probably read some Tia Mads Roth, because I'm reading two books simultaneously right now. <laughs> Although one's on Kindle and one's an audiobook, so I feel like it's a bit easier to keep track of that. Um, but yeah, that'll probably be the rest of the night. But we did get everything we wanted to do. Um, uh, see you. Wait, I had my BC, so that's good. So all I have left is to edit and upload these videos and also um, brush my teeth tonight. Uh, and that is my to-do list for today. So thank you for hanging out with me today. I filmed quite a lot, I feel like. Um, I'm still editing. We're like at an hour long and I haven't added all the clips. So yeah, definitely put some stars and sparkles in the comment if you made it this far. Hopefully I've kept you company, possibly for days. <laughs> I doubt it'll be like, oh my god, what if it's like an Andrea two-hour vlog? Remember when Andrea did a three-hour vlog? I was watching that forever. Granted, I watch three-hour streams like while I work, so that's what I did today. I didn't read any book today, I was just watching streams, but I was just chilling because I'm home alone. I'm feeling great. But I'm glad they're coming home now. Alright, I'm gonna finish up here. You've heard enough of me rambling today in this very long haul up uh, hole. In this very long vlog. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I love you. Bar bar!